Hi guys, I just wanted to quickly pop on and say sorry because I realised that you can hear my laptop fan in the background of this video. I didn't realise it was so bad or so loud and I really hope it doesn't take away too much from the video for you and that you can still enjoy it. Hi everyone, today's video is a really exciting one because this is one of the first ever Erin Condren International Life Planners. Um, Everyone who attended the UK Planner Addicts Big Meet on the 2nd of February received one of these incredible planners uh, because Erin was the keynote speaker and she donated a planner to every attendee, which is just nuts. Um, but as I said, this is uh, one of the first international life planners. So it has um, holidays in the front from all over the world and not just the US. Um, it doesn't have US holidays all throughout the days of the week on the weekly pages um, and also the months start on a Monday so I will get into all of that and show you it all obviously um, but first of all um, just some basic facts about it it's a 2019 planner so it runs from uh, January 2019 to December 2019 it's a 12 month planner this one is the vertical layout and it is their standard size they all had a silver coil as well. I don't know if at some point they'll be available with um, the different coloured coils or not. I normally prefer to get rose gold, but um, I don't know if the international planners will be available with the other colours or not. For now, they all came with silver. So I will just take this sleeve off. I've just taken my ruler off so that you can see the cover. Um, so they came with a personalised cover as well. It says, keep calm and plan on UK Planner Addicts 2019. And then the back was this gorgeous watercolour Union Jack. Um, and it has the like whiteboard style on the back of that. And it also has that in the front as well. It's like a little list. So we have a vellum sheet with those matching rainbow colours on, which is really pretty. Um, and then we've got the first page, the on-the-go life planner vertical layout. This is my life. I didn't actually get a chance to get Erin to sign my planner. I wish I had. Um, I had a chat with her and I snapped a picture with her, but I didn't get her to sign my planner and I wish I had now, because um, that would have been cute, but oh well. We've got some of her signature decorative pages. You have everything inside you to be and do anything you want. And then we go into the year at a glance. So we have um, from July 2018 all the way down to December 2019. I love the font of that, that's pretty. I haven't seen that in an Erin Condren before. And then you have like a goals page, so it says motivation is what gets you started, planning is what keeps you going. Um, now my intention is to use this planner for my dissertation, so I'm going to leave it as a desk planner, plan out what I want to do for my university work that day, um, any books I want to read, how many hours I want to study. I'm really enjoying documenting all of that in my bullet journal as well, but I feel like this is such a big project. A master's dissertation is at least 20,000 words and I also have to do a presentation to go along with it and things so it's such a big project that I feel it needs its own planner and because the planner goes it's just a year long it goes up to the end of this year which is when my dissertation will be due in and it has all these goal pages I think this is going to be perfect for that and then as I said we have the holidays so it does have 2018 holidays in it as well but obviously that's not really relevant now that we're in 2019 so here we go there's 2019 holidays and it's got so many countries which is brilliant because you know you might live in the UK or you might live in Europe but you might not necessarily be European you might be um, from Hong Kong or Indonesia or India and you want to have your own holidays represented in there and I think it's great um, so we've got several pages of holidays the United States is still the biggest um, section but it's fine and we've got UK holidays there as well and there's a little note page there and then you go straight into January and as usual I think each month is colour coded so January is this teal colour and as you can see they are a Monday start which is absolutely brilliant because obviously in Europe we start our calendars on a Monday. It's never made sense to me that the US use a Sunday but I suppose to them it doesn't make sense that we use a Monday. Um, but yeah so they are a Monday start, they've got a notes section down the side there 
and straight from your monthly page you go into the weeklies and again they're in that same colour scheme you've got space for a sticker here or a quote or something or a to-do and then you've got enough lines here to write little to-do lists or meal planning that might be a good idea do some meal planning at the bottom for me, what I think I'll use these little spaces for at the bottom is maybe like a word count target for each day once I actually start writing my dissertation. It might be good to be able to have a like a word count target at the bottom and if I hit that word count I can tick it off. Obviously I won't be using January because um, we received the planner in February so I'm going to go straight into February. The quote for February is live what you love and of course it is a pink theme for Valentine's, the month of love. And this is what the weekly pages look like. So because um, January, like the first week of February, the first days of February were towards the end of the week, obviously it carries that January colour theme over and then we go into February. Oh, this is the week we're currently in so this is where I'm probably going to start but I might go back and... Um, do a spread about the big meat because I received so many big meat stickers that might be quite nice but yes yeah, so that's February March is this gorgeous minty green everything you can imagine is real plan doesn't work change the plan not the goal I love that because that is definitely my life at the moment with my health being so bad I have definitely had to change my plans and change how I'm working towards things but I'm not changing my goal I'm determined to finish this master's degree whether I have to <laughs> defer the whole year or not and I will say as well the paper quality I, I feel that the paper quality of Erin Condren planners has always been good, but this is something else. They've improved it even more. It's absolutely beautiful. It's thick. It's almost got some sort of like texture to it, but not in a way that's going to make it hard to write on. It just feels really thick and good quality. It's so lovely. Then we have a note section. So we've got lined paper. Got some dot grid. some colouring pages then we have a little contact section there's plenty of contacts boxes there that would be quite good for me to put my lecturers and um, my supervisors at university and things and then we have it's called like in the coming year so you can forward plan to 2020 so when things start getting like arranged for this year um during this year for 2020 you can add them in the back of your planner here this is such a good idea um so for example if somebody gets engaged and their wedding is going to be next year you can add it in there if you get an invite um and you can note little things down for in the coming year. I think that's a great idea. So that goes from January to December 2020. And then the final page is arriving at one goal is the start of another. And I love that because once I finish this planner, my masters will hopefully be completed and I will have to be setting myself some new goals. Then of course we have stickers, which are absolutely beautiful. These have got rose gold, silver and yellow gold foil on, which are beautiful. We've got lots of icons, to do's, reminders, celebrate, happy birthday. There's flags, full boxes, some banners there. These are really pretty. Then we've got some more icons. I love these. Like there's a little gym one, a dumbbell, have a grateful heart, keep moving forward, a little shopping trolley, lots of really useful functional items there. And then we've got some of the standard Erin Condren banner stickers that you always used to get in the planners in lots of different colours to match the yearly um, colour schemes, I think. Then we have a pocket at the back. 
and on the very back of the pocket we have the perpetual calendar which you always get in an Erin Condren planner. You can note down recurring events and birthdays in each month and you can just move it from planner to planner or take it around with you in your handbag so you always know what's coming each month. So I just swapped the cover out on mine so that you can see that you can swap the covers. The covers are still interchangeable. This is a cover that I had on my 2018 Erin Condren and I absolutely love it so I thought I would just swap it out. I thought I could do a little plan with me video um, showing you how I would set up a week in this planner. Now obviously as I said I'm not 100% certain how I want to use it for my dissertation yet or like how I'm going to set it up. So as I said, this is the current week. I've got a little sticker kit here from Planner Face. This actually came from the Big Meat 2018 goodie bag last year um, and I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to use it now. Um, I thought it matched the February colors perfectly and it has sat in my stash for far too long. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little mini plan with me now. Probably won't put any pen on. I'm just gonna sort of play around with the stickers, uh, but I hope you enjoy it. There is how I might set up a really simple layout in my Erin Condren when I have no idea <laughs> what um, the week is going to hold. Normally when I used to use an Erin Condren before I always had a rough idea of how I wanted the spread to look and obviously I always had a rough idea of what my week was going to look like but because I'm currently um, not very well and I'm not at work um, and I'm not really doing much for university I just wanted to throw some stickers on the page just make it look pretty and um, I'll go back and fill in some stuff <laughs> and I'll fill in the rest of the week as things happen. I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing one of the first looks at the new International Life Planner. I absolutely love it and I think it's going to be a great tool in trying to get back on track with university this year. If you have any questions do let me know. Leave me a comment below this video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. I will see you in my next video guys.